Now the news to the East Midlands. I'm Man Davis. Good evening. Well, first tonight, an odd job man has been found guilty of raping, then murdering his elderly neighbour. Jane Hings was smothered with a pillow in her bedroom at Fleckney in Leicestershire. Craig Keogh was caught within days because of advances in DNA technology. And now a unique forensic service has been set up in the East Midlands to catch criminals even more quickly. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Next tonight, a street robber's been given three years in jail for attacking a 12-year-old girl, describing her as easy prey. For almost a minute, she fought bravely to hold on to her prized iPhone before 22-year-old Patrick Gunnar wrestled it from her. She said she screamed so much she thought she'd lose her voice. Tim Parker reports. Hundreds of people attended a vigil this evening in memory of Maria Mustafa, the teenager who died after being attacked in Nottingham City Centre. Well, today, police ruled out suggestions that the assault was in any way hate-related and described her death as truly tra tragic. Gita Penze reports. Gita, there's been a huge focus on this investigation, but not, not just here, also internationally. That's right, because even though Marianne was studying in Ottingham and her family live here, they're Egyptian nationals. And as a result, there's been a huge amount of interest in Egypt with the media and government officials questioning the circumstances around her death. Marianne was also born in Rome, and as a result, there's been a lot of interest in Italy too. And as we understand it, delegates from both those nations are in contact with the authorities here. Now, as I mentioned in my report, Nottinghamshire police have said there is no evidence to suggest the assault against Mariam was a hate crime. Nevertheless, this evening there was a real sense of people from all over coming together to show their support to Mariam's family as part of the visual and to sort of say that Nottingham is behind them and does care. Mm. OK, Gita, thank you. Uh, and finally, from me tonight, a revamp of the roof of Derby's historic Market Hall got underway today. The and that is how your news looks this Monday night. I'll say goodbye. But here with the whole week of weather is Alex. Thanks, Annie. Well, there is some good news in this forecast. It looks as though things are getting milder towards the second half of the week. But looking at the detail a little bit closer, we've got variable amounts of cloud on the way. There will be some sunny spells, chance of frost midweek, then potentially a little bit wet and windy on Friday. But to start the week, high pressure is generally in charge of the weather. That doesn't mean wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. It does mean we're likely to see some cloud at times, perhaps the odd shower, but it will be reasonably settled for the next few days. As as for tonight, there's a yellow weather warning in force from the Met Office for ice, covering pretty much the whole of the East Midlands, so do take care. There could be some tricky conditions on untreated routes. Going through the course of tonight, we'll continue to see variable amounts of cloud, the chance of the odd shower here and there, but mostly it'll stay dry tonight, with lows of around zero degrees Celsius, but feeling cooler than that because of that northerly breeze. So tomorrow, again, feeling a little bit on the chilly side, but nothing like we saw last weekend. Some sunshine in the afternoon, perhaps, for a time before that cloud starts to drift southwards again. Highs of 7 degrees Celsius, and again, the chance of just the odd shower under thicker cloud, but some sunny spells as well. It's on Tuesday night going into Wednesday that we start to see clearer spells and that's when we'll see the frost creeping across the region. Do take care in your gardens. It looks like minus one degree Celsius on Wednesday morning. So a chilly start on Wednesday but some brightness in places as well before the cloud starts to spill in again from the north. However, it does look as though it will start to get slightly milder. Highs of around eight degrees Celsius and the wind coming round from the west there. So going into Thursday and Friday this area of low pressure starts to come in that will bring some unsettled showers potentially some wet and windy weather but there will be drier spells in between the wet weather seems to zip through fairly quickly so Thursday it looks as though it's quite cloudy for a time the odd spell of brightness a few showers here and there but temperatures definitely on the up in double figures highs of around 10 to 11 degrees Celsius and then on Friday again some cloud moving in a few showers in places but it looks as though it's getting better towards weekend highs of 11 degrees Celsius on Friday. I'll leave you with the outlook. Those temperatures continue on the up towards the end of the week, but that's it from the late team at East Midlands today. Next up, the national forecast with Matt Taylor.